Hey folks, uh, Mr. Math Blog here, and this uh, lesson is on equivalent fractions. This is one of my favorite lessons. Uh, here I'm going to show you uh, how to how to use some visual models to uh, get uh, fractions being equal to each other. So let's go ahead and, and start with this. You guys recall on the fraction one third? You remember what the top number was called versus the bottom number? You guys remember that? Which one's the which one's uh, the numerator? Which one's the denominator? The top is the numerator, and the bottom is the uh, denominator. You guys remember that? Okay, we're going to use that in this lesson here. So here's the first problem here. Russell cut a pan of brownies into third size pieces. He is keeping one third and he gave the rest away. Russell will not eat his part all at once. So how can he cut his part into small equal size pieces? All right, so what I'm going to first do is use this uh, picture right here and I'm going to go ahead and cut it into thirds. So I'm going to uh, do a slice right down here and do a slice right down here. Okay, so here it is cut into thirds. Okay, and we'll call this piece right here Russell's piece right there. Okay, I know some of you guys are thinking, oh, he's missing a little corner here, a little corner here. Russell's a nice guy. He's going to take this piece as his third right here. But let's just pretend like this third equals this third equals this third right there. Okay, so um, uh, so can, we're going to go ahead and draw on this picture, and we're going to show how he can cut this uh, his piece right here into two equal pieces. So I'm going to do another slice right through the middle right there. And so now these two pieces are equal right there, okay? All right, so uh, we can rename these two pieces as a fraction of the original uh, brownie. So I'm just going to move that up here. So here it is right here. We can rename this as a fraction of the original brownie. So let's just suppose Russell had cut the original pan of brownies into equal size pieces of this size. So if I could just take this slice and just continue it all the way across, then what it's going to do is make equal pieces of all of this size right here. Okay, so how many pieces are there now? There's, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's the first one right there. So what fraction is one of these? Well, if I just picked one of them, it's one of the six. So it would be one sixth. Okay, what fraction would two pieces be? Well, that would be just be two of the six, two six. Okay, so now uh, this, this original piece, which was one third of the pizza, pizza of the of the brownies right here it's one third of this pan of brownies this one third can be also represented as two six okay so one third this one third right here is the same as this two six as this one right here okay so these guys are equivalent fractions we'll discuss in just a little bit okay all right so now we're gonna uh, draw on the picture to show how Russell could cut his uh, part into four equal pieces okay so let's go back to the original thirds this is one third this is one third this is one third now we're going to take Russell's piece right here and cut it up into four equal pieces. So watch this. There's one slice. There's two pieces. And then I'm going to slice this one in half and then this one in half. And that's going to get me four equal pieces. Okay? So now there's four equal pieces right there. Uh, now we can rename these uh, four equal pieces as a fraction of the original pan. So what I'm going to do is uh, suppose that Russell had cut the original pan of brownies into equal size pieces of this size right here. So let's go ahead and continue this slice right here. This one going across and then that other one going across. So there we go. Okay, so how many pieces are there now? Okay, so there's one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 of them now. So what fraction is one of these little pieces right here? It's one of the 12 right there, okay? You guys with me? So what fraction is four of these pieces? Well, four of them, four of the 12. That's what that's going to be. So then this one-third is this part right here. Here's my one-third right here. One-third is the same as the four-twelfths in this picture right here. Okay, so here's my one-third. Here's my four-twelfths right there. So this fraction one-third is the same as four-twelfths. And so, so um, uh, we have equal pieces right there. Okay, so fractions that have the same amount are called equivalent fractions. So write uh, equivalent fractions. Well, remember, one-third, this one-third, this one out of these three equaled this two out of these six equaled this four out of this 12 right here. So one-third equals two over six equals uh, four over 12. Okay, and those guys are called equivalent fractions because they're equal to each other. All right, so uh, how do the number of parts relate to the size of the parts? Okay, well, notice here's one part, which represented one-third. Here's two parts, which represented also one-third, also right there. So the more parts there are, the smaller they tend to become right there, okay? 
All right, I want to go back. I want you to recognize something right here. Notice from one third, can you see that one got multiplied by two and three got multiplied by two? You see that? And if I went from uh, one third to four twelfths, if I did one times four, I get four. Three times four, I get 12. As long as I'm multiplying the same on the top and bottom, it should be equivalent fractions right there. So describe how the numerators uh, are related and how the denominators are related. So in one third equals two over six, well look, the numerator went times two and the denominator also went times two. So they both went, um, uh, they're both multiplied by two when you go from one third um, to two six, both the numerator and denominator. So how does uh, uh, apply that, what we just said, to um, one-third and three-ninths? Are they equal to each other? Okay, and explain. Okay, now look, from one to three, it went times three. From three to nine, yep, times three. So I'm going to say, yes, they're equal to each other because the, both the numerator and denominator are multiplied by three. It's the same number. It has to be the same number. Okay, so if you do that, then they're equal. They're equivalent fractions. All right, so here we go. Julia has two-fourths of a piece of pizza. Elizabeth has three-eighths of a, of a pizza. Okay, uh, so who has more? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut those into halves right there. So there's, uh, there's um, uh, two halves right there and two halves. All right, so let's cut them again. So that now I have them both into four equal pieces right here. Okay, four equal pieces. So I can go ahead and divide Julie's up. Julie has two of these four right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so Julie has these two pieces right here. Now this is Elizabeth. So what I got to do is there's four equal pieces. I'm going to do a slice right through here and a slice right through there. That's going to get me eight equal pieces. And then Elizabeth has three of those. Okay, so here's Elizabeth right here. Here's Julia's right here, so who has more? Well, hopefully you can see that Julia has more. So, so um, this two-fourths right here is bigger than three-eighths right there, okay? So, Julia has more. In fact, two-fourths is, is greater than three-eighths right there, okay? We'll, get, we'll do some more of that in the next lesson, you guys, about uh, uh, fractions and their size. So what about, what about two-fourths and four-eighths, you guys? Look at this picture right here. Here's... Here's two-fourths, Julia's right here, and if I said Elizabeth had four-eighths, she'd have four of these eight pieces, and four-eighths equals two-fourths, and, and check this out, uh, two times two is four, four times two is eight, if I multiplied um, uh, uh, two times two and four times eight, sorry, I had a brain freeze right there, uh, uh, they end up being equal to each other, so two-fourths and four-eighths are equal to each other, okay? And okay, so we're going to use this model to write equivalent fractions. So over here, I don't know if you can see this rectangle right here. It has it goes down three and it goes over here and then it goes up three right there. And these two guys are shaded right here. So there's two of these three rows that are shaded. See this this one and this one and then this one's not shaded. So there's two of the three rows shaded. So what I'm going to do is write an equivalent fraction over here and I'm going to take uh, those two rows and I'm going to slice them, actually those three rows, I'm going to slice them right down the middle right there and I want to be concerned with just uh, these guys right here. Remember this whole row right here is this whole row right here and then this, whoops, and then the middle row, i got to move that back, sorry, in the middle row uh, is this guy right here. So now I've, I've divided this two-thirds over here. There's two of the three shaded. And over here there's one, two, three, four of the six shaded. So two over three ends up equaling four over six right there. Okay, and if you can see if I multiply times two on top and times two on bottom they would be equivalent fractions right there. Okay, so tell whether the fractions here are equivalent. And note we do an equal sign if they're equivalent, and we do a slash through an equal sign, and this means not equivalent right here. Okay, how about um, uh, two-fifths and, and four-tenths? Okay, so two went from two to four times two, and from five to ten, that went times two, so I'm going to say these guys are equal. Okay, here... Um, 5 to 8, I didn't multiply anything to get from 5 to 8. I added something, and that's something completely different, you guys. So here I did times 2, but I definitely didn't do times 2 on top. So I'm going to say these ones are not equal. Okay, here 4 times 2 is 8. 7 times 2 again is 14. So I'm going to say those guys are equal. Okay, so the only one that's not equal is this one right here. All right, so uh, 
how many uh, eight size parts are needed to model three fourths? Okay, so what this is saying is um, it's asking you to change three fourths to something over eight. How many eight size pieces are needed to model three fourths? Okay, so what I'm going to do is think, okay, on the denominator, it went times two right there. Okay, so that means in the numerator, I got to go times two up here. So three times two is going to get me six. So it's going to have to be 6 eighths that's going to model 3 fourths. Okay, all right, you guys, take care.